Hello and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to make a repair on a microphone wire. This microphone was given to me and now I see why. These wires are kind of tough to work with because they're so thin and the way they're braided. And if you ever worked with them before, you'll know what I mean. Now, I repaired thin wires on these Harbor Freight multimeters. These meters are pretty decent for the price. Uh, they're, never, they're not the most accurate, but to keep in the truck, to keep in the toolbox, having them knock around, they hold up pretty well. And the readings are fairly, fairly close. Working on the engines and the kind of work I do, they're sufficient. But these wires that they have are always breaking. Last repair I did, I just split this open, got a thicker wire, soldered it to this piece here, hot glued this back together, and the wire was thicker than what came with it, and I put an alligator clip on it. I didn't use that on my auto repairs. But that said, this one here, besides the wire being thin, you have the plastic that's on it. Let's see if I can show it. It's got this uh, aluminum sheeting, and I believe this might be a ground. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to snip this over here. I'm going to snip it off. I'm going to cut this back to see what it should look like because it looks like a repair was made on this there was heat shrink on this when i got it but the microphone wasn't working so let me get started and i'll show you the inside of this over here now when you cut this cable back there's plenty of cord here so i have room to play with but i'm going to start it on this end not on the plug end i'm going to cut it back and you don't want to cut into these y's you want to cut it just close enough to get the sheeting off let me get this going. Okay, I cut through this. I don't think I cut any wire. There might be one here. You can see how this is all intertwined together. We have this copper wire in with the string. Now the string is just for extra strength. These wires are so thin, so they put a string through them. And this is what makes it a little difficult. I have the camera in front of me, so it's hard for me to get to this. And I'm going to need a magnifying glass. I tell you. Here we go. Here's this piece. Now here's this wire in here. This wire that was wrapped up like in the foil. This has a plastic coating to it. So what I'm going to do first. I'm going to cut off this thread that's here. I'm going to get all these outside strands. Twirl them together. I'm going to then melt this off. I don't think I could cut that off. It's so thin. With a cigarette light, I'm just going to use a quick burst and blow them out. Because I think this will... I know when I was working on the multimeter, when I tried to melt the wire, the wire actually... When I tried to melt the plastic, the wire actually melted. So I found if I light it and blow it out real quick, I, I was able to save the wire... Because on one of, another one of these that I did, I just put another, it wasn't broken here, but the tip was broken off. So instead of putting the tip back on, I just added an extension to it. And on repairing one of these multimeter wires one time, I tried to get this plastic off. And when I heated it up with the cigarette lighter, it would just melt the wire, the metal also. I found that if you heat it and blow it out real quick, if you get it just right... You'll be able to save the wire. And I'm assuming that this wire is very similar to that. So I'm going to do this off camera. And I'll show you what I have when I come back. And plus I'm going to check with the meter to see if part of a ground. Because you have two wires with the microphone. I'm not familiar with working with microphones. And I'm assuming that one might be for one speaker. One might be for another. I don't know. This might be a ground, so I'm going to check the continuity on it, and I'll let you know what I find. Okay, I had to get a bright light on here to see what I was doing. I went to the jack side of the uh, wire, and I used this side to see what it looked like underneath. And then I came over here and opened it up. If there were any errors, better on this side because it'll let the wire. But anyway... This is just the string that they put in there. I'm assuming for strength. They give the wire some strength. But what's throwing me off here is that when I check for continuity, I check it down here. I'm, 
I'm on this foil and it's showing oh it's reading high is like 7.4 I don't believe that should be that high but it's also showing okay it's not showing here now okay and it doesn't show when I hit when I I don't know it's showing on this part over here also now when I touch this wire copper wire I should have got the one Oops. When I touch the copper wire, it's showing continuity. On the tip, it's not showing it here. It's showing it here, but not here. Now, if you look closely at this, I don't know if you can see it, I'm having a hard time seeing it. If you look closely at this, this wire, this copper wire, is touching this foil. So there's nothing separating them. There isn't any um, insulation. Now if I take this foil and open it up, let's see. This is where we have that plastic wire on the inside. And I think when I open this up, I'm going to have to find a way to keep this insulated from the rest. That's why this was on here. So this would be too big to put back on. I guess I could do it that way and a uh, piece of uh, shrink on it. I'm going to melt this off. Well, do it on this side first. I'm going to melt this off, get rid of the string, and see what I find at that point. I'm trying to get this in the best light possible for the video. When I found that um, fabric that was coming through, it burns off real quick. Just a quick flick with the lighter, it comes right off. This, on the other hand, this plastic, when it burns, it smells like wax in a candle. And it will stick to your hand. So let it cool off before you try wiping it or wipe it with a rag. Now, there is continuity from these wires to the tip and to um, this part of the jack. Next, I'm going to tie the two plastic ends together. But I have to get a sleeve in here or a piece of tape to keep them insulated from these other two. Once I tie them together, I'm going to hit them with a little solder and slide that sleeve over or put tape on it. I'm not sure which way I'm going. Definitely going with the heat shrink over the top of it. I'll tape it for strength, then I'll put the heat shrink on it so when it gets tugged on, it won't pull apart. Because that string or fabric, whatever you want to call it, that goes through here does give this the strength along with the uh, cable itself. This, this, uh, this plastic, or I'm not sure, I think it's rubber. It's pretty thick when I was cutting through it, I used a razor. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to look to see if I have a piece of wire that's small that I'll uh, pull the wire out and use the sheeting in there. If not, I'll probably just tape it after I solder it. All right, this is where I'm at. I got this piece of scrap wire and I stripped the sheeting off it and I cut it down to fit the size where these two are going to connect. I'm going to try to slide it back over these two once I solder these together. And then I'll put some tape around it. You can barely see here. I'm going to twist this wire and this wire together. I'm going to solder that. Then I'm going to tape it and then slide this heat shrink tubing over it. I don't have one of those uh, extra hands, so I'm using two vice grips with some alligator clips to uh, hold these wires for me. And Soldering this is a little tricky also because again these wires they actually melt so you got to be careful soldering this together Once I have this all put together, I'll be back So now I have the final product This is what it looks like When I finished with it, I have a piece of heat shrink over the top of it covering everything up It's solid so we went from trash a treasure i have a working microphone and it took me all of like uh maybe 30 minutes if that long those little wires are a little tricky to work with but not impossible if you have any questions or comments post them down below if you enjoyed this video or found it useful give it a like share it with someone else who may be able to use it and if you haven't done so already subscribe hit that joe z button at the end of the video and until next time stay safe